I think one of the great things about adventure sports photography is that you're close to the subject. That in itself lends uh, intimacy to the photography, especially in something that has inherent risk. I mean, you're doing the sport. I mean, you are climbing and you're hanging right next to the climber often. My name is Michael Clark. I'm an adventure sports photographer from Santa Fe, New Mexico. I've been working as an adventure sports photographer for 23 years. I just wanted that blown out light coming right over your shoulder. Sharp. Oh, it's sharp for sure. I'm very excited to be working with Fujifilm on this project. I shot Fujifilm for the first half of my career. Fuji Velvia and Provia are my basic films. For this assignment, it's about testing the GFX 100. And we chose rock climbing in Indian Creek, Utah, and then also downhill mountain biking here in Virgin, Utah. I gave us three actual shoot days in Indian Creek and one scout day, but that'll give us plenty of time to really take our time and make sure we can dial the images into a high level. So it's day one and we're heading to Scarface to photograph one of the most legendary routes in all of Indian Creek. We have one of the best teams I've had on a shoot in a long time. We have Savannah Cummins, who's an amazing female rock climber. And along with her, we have Angela, one of her friends, who's also an incredible athlete, rock climber, ice climber, mountaineer. My name is Savannah Cummins. I'm a photographer and climber. I've been rock climbing for about five or six years. The specific type of climbing that we're doing is called traditional climbing. And so we're placing all of our own gear into the crack. I think climbing for me is, it's always a challenge and it's overcoming that challenge and feeling accomplished or feeling proud of yourself. That evening we went to uh, Scarface. And the plan was to wait for sunset because we had this amazing view behind the route itself of the mesas and the, the rest of Indian Creek down there in the valley. And we would light up the climb and try and match the lighting with the rest of the background. And in this case, it really came through for us. It's day two and we're heading to the Optimator Wall, which has some amazing roots and is way off the beaten track. We set up on Soulfire, which is another 511 route, and I ascended the rope with my ascenders and the camera and shot with Savannah. It's really nice having somebody above you if you're at all scared because it's somebody to talk to, it's somebody to calm you down if you get scared. So shooting straight down the climb meant that I'm getting really close to the wall with the crack going straight down to the climber. And when I'm up there, I'm lining up the crack with the corners or edges of the frame in an artistic way. I'm trying to really think about composition and what's gonna really serve the climb and the body position and movement of the climber. So there's a lot that goes into it in terms of how you think about getting the image. What's unique about this type of photography is that you're a participant. So there's a lot of other concerns besides just the photography and getting the shot. You have to carry out you know, a bunch of extra gear in addition to the cameras and whatever else you're using. Uh, especially when using lighting, it just ends up being a massive amount of gear. So there's a lot of complications. The photography better be the easy part, let's put it that way. I first heard about the GFX 100 when it was announced. There's just so many features packed into this camera. I mean, between the touch screen and the electronic ink on the viewfinder on the top, that just changes from different modes and dials. So for me, it's a very exciting moment just because it's an honor to photograph this stuff for Fujifilm and I'm hoping I can blow them away with the images we're creating here. I showed her a few images and you know all the climbers were surrounding me looking at the back of the camera and we were all pretty excited about what we That's got. Why I had you do that like two or three times. Yeah, I really like that one. So you're like there and then I had you do it slow, so bam, bam. I like go back. Um, maybe the one that one? That one? Yeah, that one. So for our second location we'll be in Virgin, Utah, which is Mecca for downhill mountain biking and it's gonna be a great place to test out the autofocus of the camera and also how fast it can fire. And we're meeting up with Carson and Dusty and we're gonna check out some of the places that we'll be shooting. And it's super exciting to see this place for the first time. My name is Dusty Weigel. I am a professional mountain bike rider and stuntman. My name is Carson Storch and I'm a professional freeride mountain biker. 
Carson and Dusty showed us a bunch of the different areas and we basically discuss all the different options at each area, where the sun's gonna be, what time of day we should be there, also what they can do in those locations. In the midst of that, we saw this one hip jump that they could launch off of and do a variety of different tricks. For adventure sports photography, you need a fast camera that has quick autofocus and that has, you know, it can be an all-around camera. First started shooting in high frame rate, I was like a kid in a candy shop, just smiling with a huge grin on my face because I was like, this camera can fly. We got some great images that day and just it helped us advance the shoot that much quicker. We just started firing away, started getting some shots and riding, having some fun, getting some tires in the dirt. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. Nice good, work. good start. Yeah. That's a good start, stoked man. stoked we did something. I'm I stoked we did too. Yeah. It's 6 a.m. and Dusty and Carson are all prepped to hike up this fairly steep ridge. And the plan is for me to hike up a ridge adjacent to it and shoot across right at dawn. Yeah, so we're sitting at the top of the mountain, a little out of breath, and Michael came over the walkie-talkie, time to drop. So it's time to take care of business. So every time they hit a drop, I was just blasting away at the highest frame rate I could and tracking them with the autofocus. And there's all these bushes in the way, so I had to fine tune the autofocus to ignore all the bushes and just keep tracking them the whole way in and as they jump. So I have to say the camera did exceptionally well with that because it ignored the bushes. I'm not even sure my other cameras could perform at the level that this camera performed at. The autofocus is snappy and fast, and even the buffers, it's a fairly deep buffer for shooting 100 megapixel 16 or 14 bit files. The technology that the camera has that he's shooting on is pretty mind blowing, and yeah, it's cool to do something different in a place that we've ridden before. To get a glimpse into the future of photography and the way that our sport and our passion can be captured is incredible, and I just can't wait to see where it goes. It's no surprise that Fujifilm came up with a camera of this caliber because they've come up historically with films that were the, at the highest levels. In the end, your images are only as good as the crew you have, including the athletes you're working with, and you now have a camera that's medium format with 100 megapixels with incredible image quality, incredible low noise, that can track your eye at f2. This shoot has been a pretty amazing experience and we've really pushed hard, both the athletes and myself, to create the best images possible. I'm very excited to be working with Fujifilm on this project and I'm really excited to see what we can do with this camera in the future.